All right, dear children. Now, before we go to the the last topic uh, from this nuclear structure chapter, that is called nuclear reaction. So let me just uh, uh, come to the topic that is called the classification of nuclei. Classification of nuclei. As you know, different atom has different num uh, different nuclei, different amount of uh, uh, every atom has nuclei. Sorry, nucleus. Okay, but the nucleus of the size and the radius of all the nucleus are not same, and the nucleus. The size and the shape of the nucleus is also determined by the what? The number of proton and neutron present inside the nucleus. Okay, that's why the nuclei have been classified. Nuclei has been what? Have been classified on the basis of the number of protons. When we do the classification of nuclei, we classify nuclei on the basis of what number of what? Protons. And you know, number of proton also call what number? As you have learned already, call atomic number. Also call what number? Atomic number. And we also classify on the basis of what total number of what total number of nucleons. And you know, nucleons means nothing but proton and neutrons. Protons plus neutrons. And this total number of nucleons is also called what number mass number. Yes, children, you have learned this part in lower classes also. <coughs> So in this way, if we do see, there are a number of classification that we can be done, <coughs> and we can classify the nuclei on the basis of these uh, numbers as isotopes. Yes, you know it. You have learned it. Isotopes. Okay. Now, isotope means nothing but the atoms of an element, of any element, the atoms of any element. Okay, whose number of protons is same, but Number of neutrons are what different? Number of protons same, but number of neutrons are different. Which means in isotopes, as you know, is that the number of what protons remain same. Number of protons is same, and you know, number of protons same means what is same? Atomic number is same. Atomic number is same, but the number of neutrons are different. Number of what? Neutrons are different. It's different. The number of neutrons different means the mass number are different. The mass number is different. So the atoms of any element having same atomic number but different mass number is also called isotopes. And this will be exactly observed. Okay, for the different element, for different what element. So, in other words, different isotopes of element have same atomic number, as I said, but what different mass number? Because of this same atomic number, the isotopes of an element have the same place. Because you know, whatever when we talk about the position of uh, element in the periodic table, the periodic table, in the modern periodic table, all the element has been arranged on the basis of their what atomic what number, on the basis of what number atomic number. Okay, so that's why even the element which has atomic number same means they will be placed in one place, one periodic table, in one column of the periodic table. But they are the elements, they are the elements which have same atomic number but different what? Mass number. Okay. So different what? Mass number. That's why almost every element has isotopes. Similarly, they are the common isotopes of element that has been that has same atomic number but different mass number. Like example, hydrogen. So we know one of the lightest element, the lightest element of the uh, present in the periodic table is called hydrogen. And hydrogen has how many isotopes? Three isotopes. Like hydrogen is marked by symbol H, it will be H11, H12, H1 what? 3. Now these are three isotopes of hydrogen. Okay, protium, deuterium, and tritium. So this below number is called atomic number and this number are what number? Mass number. So number of protons are same. Number of neutrons are not same because number of neutron means nothing but mass number minus atomic number. Mass number minus atomic number. Mass number minus atomic number. So if you see, if you calculate the number of neutrons in this isotopes of hydrogen, the number of neutrons are different. The number of neutrons are different. Now, similarly, we have other example of uh, element, okay, where we see the isotopes of that element, like oxygen, O816. Similarly, O817 you have learned and O8 what? 18. 
Yes, this is one of the isotopes of oxygen. So how many isotopes of oxygen has? Five, three isotopes. All that means the number of protons that the atomic number is same. The number of neutrons or mass number are different. So you can clearly see that number of neutrons and mass number which are different. So oxygen even has three isotopes. So in this way, if we go on uh, observing the isotopes, they are the elements, other elements which has also has isotopes. Some element has two isotopes, some element has three isotopes, some element has even six isotopes like krypton. Krypton is one of the elements which has six isotopes, like tin, one of the metal which has ten isotopes. Okay, so in this way, the isotopes of element are different, you know. Okay, so from here I can say that the nuclei of different element okay, can be classified on the basis of their number of protons and number of neutrons, number of nucleons. And one classification that we have done already is called isotopes. Okay, but these isotopes of different element, there are certain element which can be stable or some are unstable. Okay, now stability of uh, this uh, num element, any element is also determined by the ratio of number of protons and number of neutrons. Number of protons and number of what? Neutrons. Okay, and that concept actually required for the emission of radiation from the element, nucleus of an element and we call this phenomenon is also called radioactivity. Okay, and radioactivity topic as, as far as reduced syllabus of ISC is concerned is not there. So, but the concept of radiation like emission radiation like alpha ray, beta ray and gamma ray you had learned in what class 10 also. Okay, and this emission of radiation takes place when the atoms are, any atom of an element is what? Unstable. So, unstability of, okay, uh, atom of an element is actually determined by the no ratio of what? Number of protons and number of neutrons. Okay. Now, next uh, classification that, that we can do on the basis of this number of protons and number of neutrons is isobar. And to understand what is isobar, as we have learned in lower class also, isobar are actually nothing but the different element, especially the nuclei of different element having same number of nucleons. Same number of nucleons means total number of proton and neutrons remain same, and that is same number of same mass number. But different number of protons and neutrons are called what isobar. They simply call as what isobar. Okay, but this isobar <coughs> can be defined. Not for only one element. Okay, this is def basically defined for different elements. The nuclear different elements. Now their atomic number are different. Number of protons are different means atomic number are what? Different. Okay, but the mass number remains what? Same. Because mass number sem remains same means the total number of nucleons which is remains same. Therefore, they have different places in the periodic table. Yes, this isobar have different places in the what? Periodic table. And different in what? chemical properties also. The chemical properties are also different. Since in isobar, the number of fundamental particles are different. Number of fundamental particles means like proton, neutrons and electrons are different. Okay. So, they differ in their physical property also. That means isobar also differ in physical properties. Now, the nuclear isobar belongs to different element. Nuclear isobar always belongs to what? Different element. And some of the element which has this isobar are like H13. You know one of the isotopes hydrogen, H13. Hydrogen with atomic number 1 and mass number 3. One of the isotope hydrogen that is called tritium. Okay, and if I compare with one of the isotopes of helium that is H23. These are the isobar. See, they have same mass number but different atomic number. And due to, although their mass number is same, due to different mass atomic number, they are placed in different, different what, column of the what, periodic table. And their properties are also different. Okay, because helium is basically what gas, noble gas. Okay, so hydrogen is a gas and the position of hydrogen and helium are not same in the periodic table. Okay, similarly if you see carbon C612, C614 sorry, one of the isotopes carbon, carbon also has isotopes. Okay, carbon C6. 14, one of the isotope hydrogen, carbon, sorry, and nitrogen, 7 and 14. Nitrogen is 7 and 14. So, if you look at this, one is carbon, one is nitrogen. So, their mass number is same, 14 and 14, but they have different atomic number. 
Okay, so due to different atomic number, the number of protons are different. When the number of protons are different, then the number of neutrons are also different. Because when you do subtract mass number and atomic number, mass number and atomic number, we calculate what? Number of neutrons. That's why these uh, two elements, although they have same mass number, but different atomic number are placed in different, uh, uh, different column of the what? Periodic table. And their properties are also different. Okay, similarly, if I go through next one, like oxygen, uh, O817. So one of the isotopes of oxygen, and I compare with one of the uh, halogen element that is called fluorine, 9 and 17. So if you look at these two elements, one is oxygen and one is fluorine. So fluorine is a group 7 element, okay, comprised of non metals, and O, o means oxygen, simply a gas, okay. So if you look at these two uh, elements, their mass number are same, 17, 17, but atomic number are different. Due to that atomic number different, okay, these elements are also placed in the different column of the periodic table. Their periodic properties are also what? Different. Okay, their properties are also different. So in this way, we can classify nuclei of different elements on the basis of what number? On the basis of what? Isobars. On the basis of what? Isobars. Now we have a last one, that is isotones. Isotones. That means nuclear of different element in the periodic table can also be classified on the basis of isotones. Now isotone means basically nothing but the nuclei, the nuclei having equal number. Just look at this point. Equal number of neutrons. Equal number of neutrons are simply called are called what isotones. So, children, when we classify nuclei as isotones, remember this in isotone, the nuclei, it, should, it is also for different elements, so that the nuclei having equal number of neutrons. If the number of neutrons of different nucleus of, an element, of different elements are same, then we call that uh, nuclei of elements are called, different elements are called isotones. Okay. So, for this nuclei or for these isotones, both the atom number, both the atom number, and the mass number are different. So in isotone, what happened? Atomic number, atomic number, which is marked with Z, and what? Mass number. And mass number basically marked, uh, expressed by symbol A, are different. So remember this point, children. In case of isotones, atomic number are different, mass number are also different. But only thing that remains same is the number of neutrons. Because atomic number different means number of protons are different. Okay. Although the number of neutrons are same means the mass number are also different. Okay. But the number of neutrons remains what? Same. That's why there are some example of uh, isotones that we can see. Like lithium, one of the element with atomic number seven, 3 and mass number 7. Now if I compare with another element that is beryllium with mass number, atomic number 4 and mass number 8. If you look at this, see, ma atomic number and mass number are different. Atomic number is 3, mass no atomic number is 4. Mass number is 7 eh, and mass number is 8. But what is same in this uh, do nuclei? That is the number of neutrons. See, 7 minus 3 is 4, 8 minus 4 is 4. So the number of neutrons is same. In the nuclei of different elements, if the number of neutrons is same, although the mass number and atomic number are different, we simply call that as isotherm. So remember this point. Similarly, there is another example that we can see, like one of the isotopes of hydrogen, H13. And if I compare with one of the isotopes of helium, that is S24, Se24. Yes, these are the different elements. The mass number and at atomic number are different, 1 and 2. Mass number are also different, 3 and 4. But what is same? The number of neutrons will be same. 3 minus 1 is 2, 4 minus 1 is, 2 is 2. So number of neutrons is same. So in this way, we can classify the nuclei of different element on the basis of isotones. Now, this uh, classification which I have explained just now is actually important okay, for the next topic that we learn that is called nuclear reaction. And the detailed explanation of nuclear reaction and that we do in the next YouTube video.